Hi, my name is Chad from the Rackspace Cloud, and today I'd like to introduce you to Cloud Servers. Cloud Servers is our new infrastructure as a service uh, platform delivering basically raw compute instances or virtual dedicated servers. Um, it's very simple to get started with Cloud Servers, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the control panel and how we set one up. So in the Rackspace Cloud control panel, if you navigate to Hosting and then to Cloud Servers, this will bring up a list of any servers that we currently have provisioned. As you can see, there's nothing here, so let's go ahead and start from scratch with a brand new server. On cloud servers, uh, you have quite a few options on the size of your uh, virtual dedicated uh, server instance, anywhere from a server with a dedicated 256 megs of uh, memory all the way to 15 and a half gigs of memory, uh, and then different storage uh, available there. Essentially, all you need to do is uh, choose the um, size server that you want to spin up. You can change this at any time, which I'll actually show you uh, here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and spin up a small 256 uh, megabyte cloud server, uh, basically for just serving some web content. So we'll label it as a web server. And then down on the lower half of the page, you actually can choose um, one of many uh, base core Linux distribution installations that we have available to you, uh, from CentOS to Ubuntu, Debian, Gentoo, there's quite a few to choose from. Also, one good thing to note is that if you have multiple uh, server instances and uh, you launch quite a few different cloud servers, if you have a predefined configuration, you can actually make a variable uh, snapshot or image of that installation. And then under the user backup section, you can actually kick a brand new server from that installation. So if you wanted to come in here and choose a uh, predefined uh, cloud server that you've already set up all the configuration details for, simply highlight it here and click Add Cloud Server. But since we don't have one, let's go back and uh, we'll just go ahead and choose Debian. We'll click Add Cloud Server and it's going to start the provisioning process immediately. One of the great benefits about cloud servers in general is how rapidly you can provision and spin up new uh, virtual dedicated servers on our platform. So we're going to watch it here in real time. Uh, it shows us some of the details of our server already. Um, and then we have quite a few different options that we'll discuss uh, in the control panel. Uh, it will email you your root password for your server as well as, dis as, well as display it uh, here for the very first time. And let's just give this a minute to finish up and then we'll look through some of these options. As you can see, within just a few seconds, we're already at 91% and kind of the uh, finalized um, or final portion of the uh, provisioning of our new uh, server instance. And just like that, our cloud server is up and running. We are fully active and ready to go. So as you can see, uh, just a quick rundown on the main cloud servers page for our new web server. We have the web server uh, internal name. This is just for kind of organizational purposes. Uh, so if you have quite a few cloud servers, you can keep them organized in the control panel. Active status, um, the age is zero days. We just created it. It's a server with 256 megs of memory, 10 gigs of storage on a RAID 10 array, and then our uh, bandwidth measurements here. The um, private uh, dedicated IP address, which data center uh, this cloud server is uh, provisioned in, and then backups here, which we can enable here in just a minute. So right at the very top of the page, you'll notice some of our um, you know, core features that are built into the control panel. Uh, we have a live console uh, that we can launch directly uh, here in the control panel, or you can fire up any terminal-based application uh, on your end if you like. Uh, we can actually reboot the server just like it's a uh, traditional dedicated box. If something goes wrong or something hangs, uh, you can log into the control panel and reboot it. Rescue mode is a really great feature. It allows you to actually spin up a temporary uh, second instance and mount the uh, file system of your uh, current cloud server if you, um, you know, botch a configuration file, for example, and you need to get back in there and change something before your server will uh, boot properly. Uh, you can use that. Rebuild allows you to uh, go back in there and start the server from scratch if you just need to re-kick uh, with a clean installation, for example, or if you want to restore from one of your backups, simply click Rebuild and choose uh, the new um, version of the OS you'd like to kick it with or choose your backup and click Save and it'll come right back up. Reset the root password if uh, you have forgotten that uh, for any reason. 
And then if you need to delete the machine entirely, um, cloud servers is built on an hourly basis. So if you delete the machine, that instantly stops your, your uh, per hour billing right then and there. If you spin up multiple servers for a batch processing job, or maybe you have a lot of web servers as part of a load balance configuration, and you don't currently need them, uh, you can come in here and delete those so you're not being billed for them while they're not being used. At the top of the page here, we see a couple tabs across the top. So. The next one over is DNS for all your DNS management. It's very simple uh, to do that here right within the control panel. The next one over is backups. We currently don't have backups enabled. Let's go ahead and take a look at this feature. So all we need to do is uh, click enable backups and then what we're going to be presented with is the option to um, set a daily backup time a weekly backup time and then we also have an option for a variable backup uh, which is really neat so we can set uh, any week of the day like I mentioned for the uh, weekly backup um, so if we want to do these backups let's say on a Sunday every week and then daily if we want to do it between 2 and 4 a.m. when there's a uh, little going on and you know no one's going to be changing uh, configurations uh, on the server itself now set whatever time is most convenient for you and we'll save that schedule And then here on the bottom of the page where it shows backups for uh, our server, we can actually take a variable snapshot whenever we like. So let's say we're going to do a, a big upgrade um, to Apache or PHP or you know something of that nature on our server, and we want to take a point in time snapshot before we do that. You can come down here, click on new backup image, um, name the backup whatever you prefer, uh, something easy to reference. And then it's going to take a few minutes to uh, capture that image of that backup. It'll let you know as soon as it's done. Then you can log into your cloud server, make any changes that you need to do, do any patching, upgrades, things of that nature. If for some reason something does not go as planned, it's a single uh, or a simple couple of clicks to go back and restore from that snapshot that you did a few minutes before um, and go right back to that point in time. Um, very simple, very easy uh, to reduce any type of um, uh, downtime or, or um, other ill effects from a uh, upgrade or patch gone wrong. So um, an excellent feature to have, definitely keep that in mind. And then the last tab that we offer here is the Diagnostics tab. This is just a quick place for you to grab some basic um, diagnostic and statistical information from your server, such as uh, server load, swap usage, um, uh, things of that nature. You can actually query uh, your box to get some uh, CPU utilization stats as well. Uh, make sure the box is up and running. And then you can do some external pings uh, to your server, as well as uh, pinging your local IP address as well. So uh, some great tools to have here. Just easy, simple tools built into the control panel to help make management easier if you don't want to actually have to log into the box uh, to check some of these stats. But as you can see, it was uh, very simple to spin up a new cloud server, uh, choose which um, installation, which uh, core operating system that you'd like to use or restore from an existing backup. And uh, at this point, you can fire up the console here in the control panel or fire up a terminal app, log into your box, and uh, you're off and running.